To understand experimental results, it's essential to get a feel for some common graphs and what they mean. We will look at line graphs, histograms, and dot plots. Let's take an experimental example from ecology. How does the number of rabbits change with time? With unlimited food, the number of rabbits increases exponentially with time. The amount of rabbits simply depends on how long they have been reproducing. But if there is a limited rate of food production, grass growth, the number of rabbits will increase to a maximum population size where they begin to starve. What if we plot the maximum number of rabbits as a function of the rate of grass growth? Now we get a straight line. Now we are curious about how rabbit body mass varies with limited food. For this, we can use a histogram. The y-axis of a histogram is frequency, and here, the x-axis is the body mass of rabbits. Histograms can have a normal distribution, a skewed distribution, or a bimodal distribution. If we look at rabbit body mass, we see that this distribution is bimodal. There are fat rabbits and thin rabbits, but not much in between. So why are some rabbits fat and others thin? Let's use a dot plot to investigate. Here we'll examine how age on the y-axis relates to body mass on the x-axis. Now we find that fat rabbits are usually middle-aged, but there are two types of skinny bunnies, young fast ones and old sickly ones. Perhaps young bunnies hop a lot, burn calories, and stay thin. Old bunnies could be too slow to get new grass, so they starve. Further observations will be needed to test these hypotheses.